Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Madeln and Wurm. Bitte nehmen Sie jetzt Ihre Plätze ein. Please take your seats. As a courtesy to our speakers, I would like to ask you to put your phones on silent mode as we are about to embark our three days journey into the future. For many people, the end of the night means the end of their dreams. For me, it's the beginning, every single day. It's not that I live my dream, I bring my dream to life. Every call, every project, every meeting is just another step. A step closer to my vision. I explore, I try to find the patterns, fill in the gaps and find new doors. I have limited resources, but that doesn't mean that I'm limited in what I do. My team, my creativity and my faith will overcome every obstacle. What do I need to grow the seed? What do I need to turn my personal vision into an inspiration for others? They say I'm an optimist, right, but I would call myself a futurist. Let me tell you something. It's not about being different, it's about thinking different. So don't tell me what everyone else tells me. I will break boundaries. I will think outside my own box. And I will not only optimize the old, I will create the new, no matter what will come. There are guys out there who know things better than I do, but I'm still willing to learn. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose, but I never give up. Will I reach the stars? I don't know, but I'm building my own rocket and every single day I explore new universes. I'm not alone out there. You are there with me. A community of like-minded people standing strong next to me. Because we all have something in common that drives us. To reach the impossible. Welcome to Bits and Pretzels. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hosts, Andreas Brockschlögel, Bernd Storm, and Felix Haas. Hi, everyone. My name is Andy. I'm Bernd. And I'm Felix. So, I would like to start with a little look back. Only one year ago, we were at the Löwenbräu Keller in Munich and opened the first Bits and Pretzels. We were very excited. Together, 1,400 attendees for one day together. Now, just 12 months later, we have more than 3,600 attendees from over 50 nations, including 102 speakers from all over the world. Bits and Pretzels is now a three-day festival with a special final event at the Schottenhammel tent. We have learned a great deal and faced all kinds of problems. Wi-Fi, acoustics, running <laughs> out of pretzels. So we decided to move to Munich's Congress Center for the first two days and for the networking part to the Oktoberfest. Our festival has also a lot of side events. This year, we cooperated with over nine side events, including the Oktober Hackfest, where 300 programmers from all over the world have been hacking for the last 48 hours. One thing has not changed through. Bits and Pretzels has one mission, to unite founders from all over the world and bring them together. And yeah, there is no better place than in Bavaria during the Oktoberfest, where the beer flows <laughs> like water. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have 
two great co-organizers, which make up our dream team. Seems there are only two other people crazy enough. So you might know that all three of us have our own internet or investment companies and that Bits and Pretzels is our small moonlight project. So you can imagine we need tons of help to grow Bits and Pretzels to the event it is today. Thank you, State Minister Eigner, and thank you, Deputy Mayor Schmidt, for being endlessly supportive. I give you one example. So during the last event, um, the State Minister asked us, what can I do to support the startup scene? Bits and pretzels, how can we grow it? And before she finished her question, um, we answered, and I have to switch to German. Frau Staatsministerin, wir brauchen die Wiesen, damit alle kommen. So, <laughs> basically, we told her that the smartest and most successful founders and investors from all over the world, they love Doktorfest as much as we do. And what happens? On Tuesday, we will see uh, how it really feels and what we'll experience there with all the founders. Thank you to 260 table captains who share the wisdom with the young entrepreneurs. You are the secret source of bits and pretzels and make it to an invaluable experience for all of them. Thank you to all to the speakers. We are really honored that you share your insights and stories with us, the founders, and I promise we will listen and we will learn. And one thing we are really proud of is that German global players connect with young startups here at Bits and Pretzels. So this year we partner with five companies that are listed on the DAX 30, and present are many more technology leading companies. So we can really say digitization is happening now in all industries, and it's happening here in Munich. Thank you to the amazing Bits and Pretzels team and over 100 volunteers. They are doing an amazing job. And finally, thanks to 3,000 founders from all the world who come to Bits and Pretzels. We are delighted by your eagerness from this crowd. So thanks, Burns. Um, so my two co-founders already spoke about all the great numbers and facts about Bits and Pretzels. So I would like to invite you to look forward and to think big for a minute. Um, we generally face a global series or a series of global challenges or as we entrepreneurs and founders like to call it opportunities in, in the world. So that's uh, things like the health systems and its finance and its uh, insurance is education, artificial intelligence, roboters, robots, and so on and so on. Many great things happening right now. And the, the nice thing is that all of those big things happening right now, they are being tackled and disrupted by the ongoing digital revolution. So simultaneously, we, uh, the founders and entrepreneurs, we have the ultimate luxury of being in the middle of this digital revolution. As Oli Samba, would say it, thank God, say is the internet, yeah? And this is something which democratizes the opportunity. All, all of you, all the founders here in Munich and in live stream, we all have, because it's like the, for the first time ever that you can really make a, a change. You can like, let's say, quote Steve Jobs, you can make a dent in the universe by just investing a few thousand euros or dollars in building an app or a little robot or some high-tech thing, little things can make a big change to the lives of the millions of people on this planet. So um, I hope that, that, um, that many founders here in the audience today will be inspired to work on these great opportunities and, and uh, things of our time. And I hope that we, over the next two or three days, we can connect them, we can connect you to all the capital and the co-founders and partners and other partners to make this really happen, to make it dent in the universe. As such, I hope that over the next two or three days, we have as many inspiration and learning moments as possible for you guys here. And I'm super happy that we have many friends who join us all over the world, who came here 
on stage. So many uh, founder friends from uh, Silicon Valley who flew here um, to share their stories and, and also experiences. Uh, there's friends like Mittel Swain or Joe Green or Phil Levin uh, who will be here on stage in the next uh, two or three days. And uh, maybe they were probably also attracted by the uh, Oktoberfest beer, and I'm sure it's uh, the best in the world. I hope no friends from Cologne are here, but Munich beer is <laughs> yes. just simply the best. We also have many friends joining us from Cologne and Berlin, many German founder friends, uh, people who build like companies like Delivery Hero and Trivago, and many, many more. They will all be here in Munich. Too. So, our vision is to get all those people, all the stakeholders here in Munich together with you guys in order to work on these big opportunities to create big things and maybe have one or two or three or four or five beers uh, while, while doing so. We invite you to get as much as possible out of our two or three days on Oktoberfest. And thank you so much for coming and enjoy the show. And now, without further ado, please let's jointly welcome our State Minister, Ilse Eigner. Andreas Bruxögl, Bernd Sturm and Felix Haas, dear founders, ladies and gentlemen, cable captains, speakers, and especially Mayor Josef Schmidt, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, my first visit to Bits and Pretzels was the perfect introduction for me to Bavarian startup scene. It was impressed by the strong entrepreneurial spirit that could be felt in the air. I was also impressed by the array of great ideas resulting in new business models. And I was impressed by the togetherness found on this scene. At that time, it was really something to see hundreds of founders coming together. This time, thousands of founders have come to Bavaria. Welcome. This, is international, this international summit is truly incredible. It is an honor and a special joy for, to have been with Bits and Pretzels from the start and to be the event's patron once again. I have utmost respect for the organizers and thank them for their work. Thank you very much. What you have built here is truly great, especially considering you have done it alongside your own companies. We need men and women like you, people who think outside the box of their standard business, men and women, women of action. Thank you very much, and let me say it in very many words, Scott. Bavaria is rich in global brands. I'm sure you all know who they are. Bavaria is also rich in small and medium-sized businesses who are market leaders. What Bavaria needs now are founders like you, ladies and gentlemen. Startups who keep the big companies on their toes, who create movement with new ideas, who are the motors for growth and employment. A business-friendly government knows that all of these things always come from bold entrepreneurs. I call upon you to make the established companies nervous. As you can see here in Bavaria, the digital world and tradition go hand in hand. Bits and Pretzels has inspired me in this regard. The new startup centers found all over Bavaria have been just one of uh, the outcomes. Startup needs space, affordable space. That is why I have launched a model startup center called Werk 1. Germany is creating better finance, financing options and startups as well as better conditions for venture capital. One of the reasons for this is that I have not let up. The region where Bits and Pretzels was founded will become the number one startup region. Jobs, 
survival rate, revenue. These are the performance indicators of success. Indeed, I am less interested in the pure number of newly founded companies. Perhaps there are other places with more people entering self-employment for a new month, for a few months anyway, and then they close. I want to see sustainable value creating growth on the startup scene. And if somebody, someone does give up the business, then let it be because his or her ideas and business model have been purchased for a worthy price. Ladies and gentlemen, over these past months, I have had the opportunity to see fantastic business ideas from Bavaria. And I continue to travel all over the state to visit startups. Again and again, I'm excited by the uh, spontaneity and the creativity among founders. I want to have more people like you here in Bavaria. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see each other a few more times throughout the program. I would have liked to stay with you all three days, for the international guest list is impressive. I wish you all a great deal of inspiration. Enjoy the enthusiasm in the air, the great conversations and high spirits. This is the right place for doing so. Bavaria wants to offer bits and pretzels the biggest stage possible, because Bits and Brussels has earned the biggest stage possible. So we have spared no expense. After all, if Munich is going to host one of the largest startup meetings in the world, then we need to offer something special. So we immediately uh, thought of, of the Oktoberfest, dear Sepp Schmidt. That is why we scheduled the Oktoberfest to run parallel to Bits and Pretzels. <laughs> Enjoy the meeting. We will see us again. All the best to you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're very happy and very delighted not only to have the state minister with us, we also have a birthday child with us. So please, without further ado, welcome the deputy mayor of the city of Munich, Josef Schmidt. I'm sure you would agree, could have made perfectly. Did you have a word party on the day you came to be? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. No better being on a birthday than here at Bits and Pretzels. And uh, just the date before and the date afterwards on the famous Oktoberfest. Um, you will see you on Tuesday, and I'm really looking forward to it. Dear organizers, dear Bernd Storm, Andreas Bruckschuk and Felix Haas, dear State Minister Ilse Eigner, dear Member of Bavarian Parliament, Markus Blume, dear company founders and potential company founders, dear ladies and gentlemen, it gives me really a great pleasure to welcome you today on behalf of the city of Munich to the Founders Festival Beer and uh, Beer and Pretzels. No, Bits and Pretzels. Oh my God. You, you have to enlarge the title. Beer, Pretzels and Bits or something like that. I, 
I didn't have drunk any beer today. Huh? No, I, I well, the very fact that you are here, all here today, is good news for our city. As you know, Munich is uh, in the best of economic health and in viable condition. It has enjoyed for a long time. One key reason is what is known as the Munich mix, a balanced blend of established companies, young firms, and startups across a very broad spread of industries. Startups in particular are great of, of great importance to a city's sustainable economic development. They generate growth and create new jobs. They also drive innovation, new ideas, new ways of thinking, and thus help keep the city competitive, both in a national and international arena. Let me make a bold statement for which I make no apology. Munich wants to be perceived as the place in Germany where things happen, where new and exciting developments take shape. That is true in the creative industries, but it's also true for the cultural realm, which is very close to my heart in my capacity as deputy mayor. These topics shape a city's image, and Munich fully intends to be up among the front runners. Accordingly, our aim is to make even better conditions available to startups and entrepreneurs. I say even better conditions consciously and confidently because we already do a tremendous amount to make startups and company founders feel at home in Munich. To take just one example, this summer also we, also the local government of Munich acquired a share in the work one Bayern GmbH startup center. This uh, incubator for young, innovative, forward-looking companies gives a home to media and gaming startups in particular. The MTZ Munich Technology Center will also continue to grow in the years ahead, expanding to more than 10,000 square meters to help us support even more high-tech companies during their growth phase. And that is not all. In November, we will submit our master plan for a very exciting project in the creative quarter to the city council. With the aid of all these projects and plans, I have no doubt that we will take our place among the world's most attractive startup venues. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take the opportunity today to introduce you to one particular project for which I could not possibly have thought of a better launch date. Bits and Pretzels meet Munich Startup. Munich-Startup.de is the official web portal for all innovative and technology-oriented startups in Munich and the surrounding region. We have set up this portal specifically to give a digital home to those individuals who demonstrate the courage, commitment, and optimism to build a new company from scratch. This central digital hub for startups gives you a single source of information about relevant events, the latest news, and insightful interviews with successful local startups. Munich Startup puts you on the startup map, literally giving you visibility and helping you to cultivate contacts with other local players. The portal is a joint initiative backed by many partners in Munich entrepreneurship community, many of whom are here today. The Bavarian Ministry of Economic Affairs, Munich's universities, the Chamber of Industry and uh, Commerce, the Munich Business Plan Competition organizers, and the MGH, which operates the Munich Industry Centers and the Munich Technology Center, are just a few examples. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the representatives of all these organizations for their dedicated support. You are all doing a great job for Munich as a startup venue. Ladies and gentlemen, in early summer, the world's biggest breakfast for company founders was held in the Löwenbräukeller. Today, we are attending 
one of the biggest founder conferences Europe has ever seen. And Munich has two top founders and entrepreneurs to thank for this superlative series of events, Andreas Bruckschlögel and Dr. Bernd Storm. I'm very grateful to you both for the tremendous dedication you have shown. Thank you. At uh, the breakfast in early summer, I had the honor of delivering the welcome address. Today, it is my privilege to thank you again as a passionate fan of uh, bits and pretzels and in my capacity as chief organizer of the Oktoberfest. I would therefore, therefore be very grateful if in two days time I could welcome you once again in the Schottenhammel beer tent at the Oktoberfest. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the pioneers of our economy. You are the people whose ideas could lay the foundation for the prosperity of future generations. I wish you all every success in your many and varied ventures. And I would like to leave you with the words of Steve Jobs, the greatest entrepreneur of the digital era. Stay hungry, stay foolish, and stay curious. And regarding Tuesday on the Oktoberfest, eins, zwei, drei, Xufa. So, I would now like to ask State Minister Eigner and Gabriele Böhmer, Director of Milk Startup, to join me on stage. Schicken, oder? Ja, das ist schön, schön, Augenblick. Ich hoffe, es ist richtig. Ich habe meinen Kopf ähm, aufgeschrieben.